Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Not at all, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Ugh, I felt like I suddenly lost weight when we passed through. There was a gravitational shift. The same thing happens when we warp jump, only we feel heavier. <laughs> you know, you're talking my language. B but I like your explanation too, Mr. Yang. <laughs> the Xianzhou possesses extremely advanced technology. If I'm not mistaken, we've been in an artificial ecosphere since we arrived at the Skyport. The evidence is above us. Uh, strange. I don't remember seeing a big planet near the Sienjo when we were on the Express. You're right. Something with a mass as huge as a Sienjo ship should keep clear of any planets on its course. Otherwise, it risks being caught up in the gravitational pull. The sky here is an artificial boundary. I imagine it was created to shield residents from the pitch dark of outer space and the negative emotions that it can generate. Fascinating. I heard that residents of the Xianzhou have extremely long lifespans, which would require them to make great efforts to preserve their mental health. Meaning... When you travel with Mr. Yang, he'll give you a thesis on everything he sees. If you have the patience to let him go on and on. Right, okay. Let's get back to work. Here we are. I feel sleepy already. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. <sighs> I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Skyfaring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, 
Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Why don't you go back yourself? Ahem. <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. <laughs> 